If you have five minutes with uh, President Obama, what will you talk about? If I had five minutes with President Obama, I would ask him what motivated him to really contribute a lot to the country. Despite him having a Harvard degree in law, he did so much ch uh, charity work and really dedicated his life to other people and helping improve the lives of other people. And I would ask what advice he would give me so that I may follow in his footsteps and help my Filipino people and represent the country in the best way I possibly could. Thank you. Uh, what is your biggest accomplishment to date and what is your biggest goal in the next 12 months? My greatest achievement was winning last year in Binibining Pilipinas as first runner-up. And my goal is to win in this competition one of the crowns and hopefully bring home the crown from the international pageant. Thank you. And my question is, which would you rather be? Someone who is respected or someone who is loved and why? I would rather be someone respected because that means you maintain your integrity, dignity, and self-respect, and that means that in turn, you will be loved by whoever matters and everyone around you. Uh, complete the uh, sentence. The ideal Philippine is? Here, the ideal Filipino is both proud and happy people. We love Philippines so much that we are willing to come back here every year we're willing to spend our Christmas holidays every year just to be here in the Philippines because we Filipinos we always feel at home here in the Philippines. The question is, uh, should you win one of the titles, how would you use your crown to push for your advocacy? Well, if I should win a title, I would use my crown to influence people to adopt their own advocacy. I want people to be passionate about it, um, something that really is close to their heart. I will someday hopefully make an NGO of my own. So that is how I would promote my advocacy. Thank you. As a modern Filipina, what is more important? A successful career or a happy home? For me, as a Filipina, we can have both because we are Filipina as very strong. We can face a lot of challenges. And we do not let challenges to stop us from reaching our goals in life. And, we can, and to have that, like me, I want to pursue my education. And I want to have a better life, my family. And for us to have a happy family also. Thank you. Why do you deserve to win a Beanie Beanie Pilipinas crown tonight? The person who deserves to win a Binibining Pilipinas crown tonight is the person who has worked hard for it and is willing to do everything to continue the legacy of the Philippines. She is confident with an attitude and personality and has a personality and I believe I am her. Thank you. What activity perceived to be male-oriented can you do as well, if not better, than males? Well, I think I can box better than males, and I, can, I believe I can do anything better than males because it isn't about gender at all. It's about your abilities, your strengths, your weaknesses, and your confidence within yourself. And with that, you can achieve anything. Thank you. How should a beauty queen respond to ruthless criticism? A beauty queen should always respond to criticisms constructively. We beauty queens are public figures and we put ourselves in a position to be judged. But nonetheless, we should always, we should always filter which, which comments we should accept and what we should not. Thank you. If you could have the opportunity to meet somebody globally influential, who would that be and why? I really idolize Angelina Jolie because she was blessed with such a thriving career in Hollywood. But then as a woman, she was able to use that influence, that voice, and that audience to advocate for the causes that she believes in, like world hunger with the UN. And someday, if I am given the chance, I would like to be just like her.